Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a new makeup tutorial which I am considering renaming Same Face Different Products because that is pretty much the drill with these videos. I can't take credit for that title, I'm pretty sure someone else has already taken it. It's genius. So today I have a spring makeup look for you. You wouldn't be able to guess that it's nearly spring outside because it is currently pouring down with rain, but I'm gonna do this anyway because I really love this look. It's very, very similar to my normal look but with a really exaggerated, thick, glossy liner and lots of lashes, really full brows, which I haven't done in a very long time, or it feels like I haven't done in a very long time, and a bright neon pinky orangey red lip, which I absolutely love. So keep watching until the end to find out what the lip product is. Just to note that if you do like my videos and you would like to see more makeup tutorials like this, then please subscribe. I will pop a little button here for you to click, so just, just click it. So this makeup tutorial is another one of the videos that I'm doing in collaboration with EcoTools and today I'm going to be using their six piece starter set and domed bronzer brush. But I'm just gonna get on with the video now and I hope you guys enjoy this. So I'm starting this look by applying my base, which is the L'Oreal Nude Magique Cushion Foundation. I am loving this at the moment. It's very lightweight and very, very glowy. And I'm using a custom coverage buffing brush from EcoTools to blend this into my skin. And because it's got a flat top, it works really nicely with the cushion foundation. And I'm just using stippling motions, but also circular motions to blend that in. And then I'm moving on to concealer and I'm using the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Serum Concealer which is a favourite of mine at the moment. And then I'm actually using the EcoTools Eyeshadow Brush to blend that initial concealer in because this brush is flat and it just works really well at building up the coverage. So I use this brush for pinpoint concealing around my nose and any blemishes on my cheeks and forehead and then I moved on to my next concealer which is one that I use in basically every single tutorial and I use it basically every day of my life. It's the Estee Lauder Brush on Glow BB Highlighter which I love and then I use the EcoTools concealer brush to blend that in. It's slightly bigger than the eyeshadow brush and slightly less flat so it's just better if you're trying to blend something in a little bit quicker and you don't really care about it being pinpointed. So now we're moving on to bronzer and I'm using one of the Narcissist palettes and I absolutely love this one so I'm using the bronzer from it which is just absolutely beautiful and then I'm using the EcoTools domed bronzer brush to blend that in. It's just the perfect shape and um, just blends out really well. I'm really enjoying using that. FYI the domed bronzer brush is separate from the six piece starter set but it's still so so good and really great for blending out bronzer. And then for a more precise application of bronzer around my nose I'm using the EcoTools blush brush just because it's slightly smaller and I just find it so much easier to blend in bronzer around my nose with that one. And then I'm going to be using the same brush again, but with my Guerlain blush, which is in the most beautiful shade, which is actually perfect for this look because it goes really nicely with the lip color that I'm going to be wearing. And this is just such a beautiful one. It's really highly pigmented, so you don't need a lot at all. So this brush is great for applying that because it gives a really sheer application. So now I'm going to be prepping my eyes and I'm going back in with my EcoTools eyeshadow brush and I'm just applying the lightest shade in the palette all over my eyelid. I really love this palette because it's so multi-useful. Multi-useful, really easy. Anyway, I just find that you can use a lot of the shades in it for multiple things, so I just applied that all over my eyelid. I was going quite heavy on the cheeks and lips today, so I didn't want to go too heavy on the eyes as well. And especially because of the liner I'm about to apply, which is the Guerlain Liquid Liner. This liner makes it so easy to do amazingly thick, perfect eyeliner. It just is so, so sharp. You can go really minimal with this brush because it is so small, but you can also build up and make your liner super thick, which is what I'm doing today. I really wanted the chance to play about with this to a slightly more extreme format. Obviously not too extreme, this is me we're talking about. And there will be a tutorial coming up soon, so although I've kind of brushed over this, don't you worry, a tutorial is in the works. But now I'm gonna be applying mascara and I'm using the Max Factor Voluptuous False Lash Effect Mascara. This is a new one from them. The brush on it is huge. It gives really volumized length and lashes as most of the false lash mascaras do. I would say this one gives slightly more thicker lashes in comparison to the other ones I own. And just for your general amusement, I am leaving in the part where I stab myself in the eye with this mascara. I hope you all enjoy this. It was painful, but I thought I'd keep it real with you guys. This stuff really does happen to me. It actually made me cry. It hurt so much. 
Stabbing myself in the eye aside and moving on to brows and I'm going to be using the Eco Tools Lash and Brow Groomer which is a great one for getting rid of the clumps in your mascara but also brushing through your brows to make sure that they're in place. So once I'm done with that I go in with the Bobbi Brown Brow Kit and the Eco Tools Angled Eyeliner Brush which actually works perfectly for brows as well. I'm just going in and applying that quite heavily to the underside, through the middle and the arch and the tail and the front of my brows. I'm basically going all out with my brows today, which I haven't done in such a long time. And I've kind of missed it, so I think you should all prepare yourselves for the big brows to be making a comeback because I've been all about that recently. And to finish it off, I'm going in with the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper just to set everything in place because you guys know I love this stuff and I can't not use that every day as well. And then finally moving on to lips, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade What A Blast. And although this is basically the exact same colour as the lipstick I'm going to be using, I'm filling in my lips anyway because the lipstick I'm going to be using is a matte one and I just find that I like the edges to be really really perfect so I prefer to use a lip liner. And the lipstick I'm going to be using is MAC's Tropic Tonic which is the most beautiful ready orangey neon pinky kind of colour. I really wanted to do an orangey pinky look for springtime so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to use it. So that is the finished look. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and then for one last laugh I've put in a before and after for you just to remind you of what I actually look like and to keep things real here. But anyway that is it from me today. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video and I will see you again on Thursday for a new one. Bye!